Hi, my name is Tom Meeks, and I just took delivery of my cube, and I'm very excited. Now, this is not a prototype. It's not smoke and mirrors. It's an actual production machine, and I'm going to open it up, then we'll stop while I activate it. You're going to have to activate your cube before you can use it, but let me show you how to open it. Uh, I have not opened it as yet. On the side, there's this little handle. Go to the top inside and pull outward. You may need a pair of pliers. I had trouble with one of the sides. And then once you do that, that pulls out. Take this little piece of plastic out and we now should be able to open our cube. You just slide the top up. I think you just slide the top up. Yep, slide the top up. And in, aha, inside we find the, our cube printer. Very nice. Now I guess uh, we remove this and this. I guess that removes that. Oh, okay. Because of the configuration, there's a slit here. I don't want to break anything before I go. Uh, obviously, that's where the uh, printing plate works. And there's a couple of uh, screws or attachments here someplace. So I'll have to look at that. But anyway, I've now taken it out of the box lift this oh there's the plate in the bottom I'm going to put this in my lap for a second get rid of the bottom of this box and I believe underneath there probably is let's see oh yeah all of the accessories and so forth are under including uh, a brand new cartridge of filament so we have a cartridge of filament we have a, a little thumb drive Ah, the magic glue. I'm anxious to see how the magic glue works. Uh, power cord. Um, what's this? Oh, that's part of the power cord. It's quite a big brick. Then we have a uh, USB cable, even though it's wireless. Oh, you get a plastic knife to open it. Actually, I'm going to show you a different knife that I think will work probably better than that one. But it's good to have one. As you, as you get started. And then this is the guide that goes from this cartridge to the head of the, uh, the cube. Well, I'm anxious to get started, so I need to activate it first. I need to read some directions to see how that's done. Then I'll get back to you. Yes. Well, I found out that you don't have to have the cube to... Uh, with your computer in order to activate the cube. They just give you a number, and I know what that number is now, so I can bring that back. You go up to the website, you put in the, uh, the serial number of the machine, which is on the back where you plug it in, and then they give you an ID number that you plug into here. So let's turn this thing on. And, it, and yep, so when you turn it on, it comes up and it first says, has a series of numbers. And so I'm going to put my ID in there. <laughs> I'm not going to let you know what that is. But I'm going to put my ID in there. Uh, okay, now the print and setup comes on. Okay. All right, so let me turn this back around to where we had it. I, I'm putting it on this box to lift it up uh, so that uh, my head and this thing are closer together than they were. Uh, when we first started. But at any rate, let's get started now. Well, I guess the first thing we want to do is we want to put the, uh, print, the print bed onto the machine. Okay? This print bed. And I've fiddled around with this a little bit while, um, before I restarted because I didn't want to be sliding this thing back and forth and, well, huh, uh, on the machine. So I've, I figured out a trick always figure out tricks. There's a magnet here and a magnet there. If I put my fingers on the magnets on the plate, then I can get them close and look, it goes right down. So by holding the magnets and, and then visually seeing that you're down there, you're going to get it uh, on the first time. Um, now, do you mind if I turn this around? Um, now I need to put in the, uh, the filament and uh, the 
filament is two parts. Oh, there it is. Okay. Wow, I'm old. Uh, the filament's two parts. You, you've got your cartridge. Now, the cartridge had a screw in it. And again, you know, being sort of uh, wanting to get this right, I put this in and it got stuck right there. Well, I figured out it, it got stuck. There was a reason it got stuck. The reason it got stuck is there was a screw in here that apparently holds the filament in place. I loosened that up. Now it fits perfectly. So if it won't go in, look for that little screw that you have to re remove. You'll either need pliers or you'll need a hex key. All right, now I'm good. This goes in here, and uh, this, well, let's see, let's, 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 let's go to this setup. All right, it says load cartridge. Right, put, the, put the external material, cut the external material, leaving six inches of material out of the print jet. Uh, I don't see any material in the print yet. Okay, um, am I supposed to cut this? Well, it says a print yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it says please wait. So cut the external material, leaving six inches of material outside the print yet. Well, this isn't the print yet. I've got a few inches here. But All right, well. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I, I think I'm getting it. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. Pull the filament. Yeah. All right. And I think what's happening here, because I have to do this on my... Um, I think it believes that there's some filament here in the head. So we can ignore the first one, and we can ignore this one, I think. Okay. Uh, replace the cartridge. I've already. Oh yeah. See, it says replace cartridge. Ninety-nine percent of the times we're going to be taking a cartridge out and putting a cartridge in. This is the first time, so I'm going. I don't know if I was supposed to go through those steps, but I went through those steps to replace a cartridge. But it says replace the cartridge or press a button. So I replace the cartridge. Now it gives me an arrow. Uh, an arrow. Uh, insert the tube into the print jet. Okay. All right. Got that inserted into the print jet. Um, now insert the material into the tube until it stops. Okay. Because you, you have to feed it all the way into the head. All right. Did it stop? I mean, actually, I might cheat a little bit. I'm going to put the material in first until it stops. Then I'm going to put the tube in. Then I'm going to put the tube in down, down here. Okay. Yeah. I cheated a little bit, but I think that's the best way to do it. Okay. Hit the button. Yeah, there we go. Now, now instead of putting it out like it was trying to do before, now it's pulling it in. And I can see a little bit of, I, I hope to see a little bit of extrusion come out of the print head. Uh, we'll find that out in a minute. Let's see. I don't want to touch that too much, but you can click it there. All right. Good. Insert the material. I finished. Okay. It's loaded it up. So now we need to now we need to print something. For that, I have this. And something called magic glue. Um, oops, I took the top off. You don't unscrew the top, you flip it off. A little little pad there. I'm going to spread this magic glue. I don't know how much you need, but I'm going to spread it around. Okay, I spread it around the magic glue, and now I'm going to go to print. Um, select the print. Well, I want to select the rook because that takes the least time to print. All right, ready? Tap on it. Okay. Now, I've got a phone here, and I'm going to test uh, how long it takes. The, this phone has a stopwatch. I'm, if I can get to it, um, I'm going to try to 
test how long uh, reset start. I'm a little behind, but we'll get how long it takes. Now it's giving me a message that it's heating the bed. Okay. Now if it takes too long, I'll stop the tape and then give you the time when I restart. Uh, reset the bed. That's good news. Um, it's still heating the bed. And there may be a, a little jerk in the video at this point because I don't know how long this is going to take. And I don't want to bore you with sitting here seven or eight minutes, whatever it might take. Okay, we're one minute in and it's heating the bed. By the way, it tells me that the print time is going to be one hour and 21 minutes. I don't know if that includes the time that it takes to heat up the bed. I doubt it. It's probably just estimating that from the size of the object. Oh, yeah, it's heating. <laughs> you don't want to touch that or that. Uh, I get they both get a little warm. tell you in eight minutes. Okay, at 7.50, it actually probably was eight minutes because I started my stopwatch a little late. So it took eight minutes to heat up, get ready, and start printing. And now it comes up. Um, uh, my gap is not right. I'm going to restart this. Okay, hold on. I'm going to stop it because my gap is just not right. Okay. Sorry about that. This is part of getting a new machine, but let me work on it. I'll come back. We'll get it set right. Um, you're able to change the gap with this, and I'm going to get that right, and we'll see how we do. Okay? Thanks. Okay, we're picking the printing back up. Um, now that's much better. Much, much better. Uh, if the head gap is off and it is too wide, then the filament will fall down onto the bed and not adhere properly. And that's what I, instantly I saw that. Um, to set the head gap, there's a, a function on the cube to allow you to do that, and I just use a business card. Uh, you put it between the head and the table and make sure that it's sliding uh, freely, and then you can go up and down. I won't show you that now, but I will at some point show you how that's done, but it makes all the difference in the world. Now this thing just looks beautiful, and um, you know, that's not a big deal to me. And if, if it happens to you, you know, I'll, by, the, by the time you get your cubes, maybe I'll have a video up showing you how to do it. But uh, if you travel with your cube, you probably have to do it some. But once it's set, it should be okay. Well, this is beautiful. Uh, we now have a print going on. And I guess I'll just, there's no point in sitting here for an hour and 22 minutes. I, I guess what we'll do is we will just uh, come back sometime in the middle, show you, and come back at the end. See you then. Well, it seems to be printing okay. We'll come back when it's finished. Wow. Well, here we are. I've got a close-up so you can see it finish up. I have to tell you, I'm easily, ah, oh, very, very cool. Okay, well, but I can tell you that it is a very, very, very fine, detailed print, and I'm loving it. See you in the next video. That's really cool. <laughs>